The museum, which is the only aviation museum uh, in Montreal, which is quite surprising since Montreal is the center of um, fabrication of aircraft and equipment in Canada, and yet there's no museum. Now, our Heritage Center started 12 years ago, and it's entirely uh, self-funded. There's no government or municipal or federal uh, funding, so money is always an issue for us. But it's an entirely volunteer operation, mainly run by retirees who have worked in the aviation industry in Canada, and particularly in Montreal. And we are rebuilding four aircraft, uh, a 1909 Blario 11, a Scarabee, uh, which was the first aircraft to fly across the English Channel. Uh, we are rebuilding a, a Canuck uh, 140. We're building a Bolingbroke light bomber, which were built in Longueuil by the uh, Fairchild Aviation Company. And we have rebuilt one of the earliest bush planes in Canada, a Fairchild FC-2, which can be on floats and on skis. And as well as those aircraft projects, uh, we have a museum with museum displays related to particularly Quebec's aviation his history. Uh, we have a major art collection of original uh, art such as the one uh, which we looked at at the beginning uh, which were all commissioned by very famous Canadian aviation artists and again that's the only aviation art gallery uh, in all of Montreal and uh, the other project we're working on is a major reference and technical library so we're located out at the uh, McDonald campus of McGill in an old stone barn which has been uh, reclaimed and renovated to become our museum.